Yeah, so one thing I, I say to our coaches is don't underestimate the role that, that you play. The moment I have no idea. He's still seven, he's going to be eight. So no, I don't know in future he will change his mind. I would like him to be a football player, but I want him what he wants. Seeing like people like Zach and my son, from where they started to where they are now, it is, it's more than fulfilling. Just, just you know, I would, I would take that over anything. My dream is to play for the team that I support, Chelsea. Coach Nathan, I've always loved football. Uh, I got my son recommended for a friend to uh, attend a We Make Football session. Really liked the setup, liked the structure that was going on. Just over time, uh, I found myself volunteering here and there and, and got into coaching, yeah, through, through that really. Is that that ball all the way down there? <laughs> The most thing I liked was the structure of, and the organisation of the sessions. Everything was clear, uh, it was challenging. It kind of painted a picture in, in my son's head. And you could see him developing and, and working things out. And I found that quite amazing. So right now I'm just setting out the, uh, the outlay of the pitches. Uh, we need to make three of them uh, for the 1v1s, for the exercises. Uh, yeah, so this is this is the arena. How's it going? All right? Yeah, yeah, good. Are you going to show them your skills? Fantastic. Every child is different, so. You can't be generic with the whole group. You have to kind of cater to their individual needs, uh, to their characters, to their personalities. So I could be a, a lot more softer with a, a sensitive child. And there are children that really want to push themselves, so you could be a bit more stern with them. You, you get to know the characters and, yeah, how you can, uh, how you can push them to, to develop. Come on, Miles. Get it back, get it back. Get it back, get it back. Get it back! Ah! Nowhere! Get it, get it. Ah! Good, Alicia. Good control. Fantastic. Slow it down, slow it down. Let's see those penguin feet. Penguins. Yeah? Come on, Lottie. Whoop, there you go. Keep it nice and close. Do it while moving. Side to side. Good work, Kelvin. Lovely. My son, personally, never used to have any confidence. He wouldn't engage with children in the park. He would be really shy. Now he'll go to the park and he'll just ask random people if they want to, if he can play with them. So it, it, it builds a lot of confidence uh, for the young people. Foot on top, roll it back, push it forwards. So when you go across your body, you're going to put it here. Yeah, you're going to roll it back and then you're going to push it to the side. So watch in here. It's going to go across my body and then push it to the side. Okay. Try that. Good. And again, and use the other foot. Try and make a V. Good, good, good. Can we do it a bit faster? Good, Moses. touches. Today the topic is about 1v1 so we'll be working on like technique, we'll be working on uh, confidence, trying things so you don't have to get it right but as long as they're thinking about trying new things, how to take players on, and how to tackle for the ones that are defending, there's always elements of learning. When we talk about 1v1s for me the main thing is confidence. You might get a child that's really really fast, you'll be able to outrun somebody really 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 quickly. Then you've got children that are less fast so it's more about the brain and how they kind of figure out how to get around somebody. Um, and yeah, just trying different things. And that, that comes with confidence and repetition. Repetition, repetition. All right, we've got two drills. Uh, so we first have uh, 1v1 shooting and we also have Royal Rumble. We have four to five year olds on this side. And then we have five to six to sevens on this side. 
Uh, after 10 minutes, they're going to swap over. So they each get uh, different games. Yeah, and keep it fresh. Enjoy. You guys, you're all going to be dribbling around in this square. And you've got 10 lives. Oh. You've got to use little touches, change your directions, try to avoid me and coach. You've got to dribble away from us and keep the ball under control. Too easy. Too easy. Let's see. Let's go. Start dribbling. Good, Alicia. Well done, Lottie. Good. As you can see the Kenzo here. His footwork is lovely. That's it, Kenzo. Can we go past? Good, good. Push. Go, Lottie. Unlucky. Very good, very good. Swap sides. Should I dribble with my head down in a straight line like this? No. What should I be doing? Head up. Good. Head up, yeah. Well done, well done, Henry. And what else should I be doing? Skills. Yeah, you can do skills. I want to be changing direction as well. Head up. I want to be changing direction. You can use your turns, drag backs, moving around, making sure the ball is going in all different directions to try to play our opponent. <laughs> Touches of the ball, uh, they're getting lots of opportunities 1v1s. So you can see as they're approaching the defender, they can take time, uh, force the defender on the back foot, make a decision, take them on. Uh, so yeah, they're just getting as many touches as they can and trying to trying to get past. You know what? I'm going to give you a seven because I saw some fantastic skills. But next time we're going to get to eight. All right? You can think you can do that? Yeah. I'm going to be watching you, good boy. Right, go get your drinks quickly and come into me. Go get your drinks. You remember the two drills we did? We did a 1v1 drill on this side and we done a Royal Rumble drill. Yes? Okay, tell me. When we did our skills to begin with, tell me one skill that we learned. V-rolls, give me five. Give me five with the V-rolls. There was one more. Do you remember what the other one was? What was it, Elias? Give me high up there. My name is Zachariah and I, and I love this. I've been at um, We Make Footballers for two years and it's been an insatiable feeling. The player um, has been with us since he was five five years old, he's very strong, he's very quick and he's always had those raw, those raw attributes but it's just been polishing them up and now like his dribbling's come, on, come along really well. I think he was invited to uh, Chelsea's development for uh, a period of time. So he's really, he's really kicked on. I think he's now he's just turning eight uh, next month. But yeah, he's a really, really good kid and he's, he's progressing all the time, he's striving for, for greatness. So watch this space. Everyone's nice. I, I, I play for a team because of this. I didn't have that much experience with football before, before I had this. And now I know so much players because of this. And my dream is to play for the team that I support, Chelsea. It is, it is, yeah. The is the sessions help him a lot, yeah. Help him a lot, especially with the Nathan and every year is more more talent, more things, you know. when he started to play he wasn't like that, but now he's getting much better and it's not just him as well, all the whole his team as well. Yeah. That. He's still seven is gonna be eight. So no, I don't know in future he will change his mind. And you know I would like him to be a football player, but I want him what he wants in future.
coach Nathan. So he's basically my coach for the football, for my team. And he's really helped me with my training, my skills. I thought I didn't have any skills. And then I tried and tried, and then I've become some, something different. We're trying to help children on their journey become the best footballer that they can be. Um, whether that's professionally, whether that's at an amateur level, getting them to be the best footballer they can be is, is, is the main objective in a safe environment. So can we have a fist bump, please? Okay. There we go. All right. You okay? Do you want a few minutes to rest? Yeah? And then when you're ready to come back in, yeah? Uh, Nave's awesome. Couldn't do it without, without Coach Nathan. He's my right-hand man. We bounce off each other. We were always, you know, communicating throughout the week, planning sessions, planning coaches, dealing with everything that's thrown at us, good and bad. He's an excellent coach. He's a hard worker. Each his all his weekend, he spent it with the kids, football, and he bring his family. And he's he's always uh, found in uh, team to play with, even uh, in bank holidays or holidays or anything. So he'd like to keep the kids keep playing at least real football, like they play real games, like at least one uh, once a week. Every Sunday he's doing it. Some kids doesn't know how to do it, and he try he found the way for them that how they do it, how they play, how they. They talk, how they communicate, how it's not just the football as well, it's so, so many things, you know. If you've got a bib, can I have your bib, please? It's a wrap for the sessions, another day done. So, yeah, until next week. I say next week, we've got another session on Friday, Saturday, and Monday again. So, yeah, we do it all over again. have this opportunity to become a really positive role model and it's up to you how you take that opportunity and what you do with it um, but I say to the coaches you, you don't realize the effect you're having on these children you know you're, you're turning up so transfixed on what you need to do don't forget that for you to come here and coach and have a good time and have fun with the children you, you're making such a difference in their lives If I can give something back, something that I've learned and give that to somebody else and, and they can learn from it, then that's, that's the key, you know? And also, like, they're teaching me as much as I'm teaching them. So it's kind of like a joint relationship, you know? But seeing like people like Zach and my son, from where they started to where they are now, it is, it's more than fulfilling. Just, just you know, I would, I would take that over anything. I think we make footballers makes footballers. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> they want to go they want to